Yes? <laughs> I think we're live. I think, I think we did it, dudes. I think uh, hopefully there is no lag this time. Oh my God, I don't know why I'm so nervous this time. I think technology has kind of kicked my ass uh, quite hard last, last week. So uh, <laughs> I'm, hope, I'm hoping, I'm hoping the audio is at least a little bit more in sync. Uh, uh, Steve, what's up? Uh, Nash, what's up? Uh, local dudes, uh, 10 scale garage, what's up dude? Uh, yes. Yes, yes. I'm just waiting to to hear that it's like out of sync, and then uh, <laughs> and then I can flip out or relax one or the other. Audio is mint. Yes, simply RC. Nice seeing you, dude. Uh, I'm gonna miss a bunch of people. Alex Best. Alex Best. What's up? Uh, Kaden. What's up? Yes, Justin. What's up? All right, wicked. All right. So step one, audio is on point. Step two. Let's get some uh, let's get some German beer in here. Let's get some Stiegel. Let's Stiegel it up. Step two. All right. Yes. All right. So uh, a bit of BS. My printer lied to me, and it uh, said that uh, it was going to be done its print in like 26 hours. Lies. It's lying to me because uh, it's still printing right there. So if you guys hear a little bit of like. Uh, wait, what does that sound like? Uh, automatic door opening from your grocery store uh, over and over again. That's the 3D printer. I am 3D printing the cab that goes onto this Silverado front right here. Uh, that is going to be the display body for the... Oh, the other way. Oh, the other way. Oh my god, this is hard. Uh, the uh, monster truck. Yeah, there it is. The, the freaking monster truck there that... Uh, yeah, I thought I'd go with uh, with a good old Chevrolet. Why not? Um, and it's a nice body. It took a little bit to get printing, but... Oh, Kevin, what's up, dude? Yeah, so that's printing. So uh, maybe when it stops, I'll peel it off and I'll show you how much support structure you got to whittle off of it. Yes. All right, so uh, I guess what we should talk about is um, like a Cletus update, yeah? Like a, a neighbor update? A little neighbor update. Uh, here is the neighbor body right there. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, on its like sixth or seventh layer of um, like high fill primer. Um, you need like that primer that fills the gaps because uh, the 3D printing leaves those like lines, right? And it also, um, the, the, the vectors, the triangles that STLs, because you use a, a you use like a, a model called an STL file. An STL file is composed of only triangles, right? It's only made of triangles. There's no circles, the, the vertices, none of the, none of the vectors are anything but triangles. So everything that this model is made of is made by some kind of sharp edge. And so that's why you get these kind of like weird, you can kind of see where the like, um, where the body kind of like got crappy there. You can see like where I'm like sanding it smooth. Um, you can kind of see where where all the it should be round, but it's just stepped, and so that's kind of annoying. Also, you can kind of see where I glued it together. So I'm going to be fixing that line. I'm going to be fixing uh, this line. I'm going to be fixing the door line. You can kind of see everywhere where there's lines that I'm like trying to sand smooth, spray with primer, sand smooth. You know, whatever. It's like it's like over and over again, and uh, you can kind of see on this side. I haven't. I haven't touched this yet. Jeez, the beer. Um, but yeah, yeah. So it's it's coming together. It's coming together. Um, I already bought the Ford White, which I'm assuming is what they used. I have the spray white, so I'm also going to be painting the headlight buckets, and I might uh, I might pull uh, pull a um, I, I I just might just like uh, like paper print the headlights. And, uh, and then stick them and then maybe clear over them. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that yet, but I got to like fake the headlights. I ne I've never actually seen neighbors' headlights turn on. So um, I'm not really like too concerned about making these like LEDs or whatever. Hello world. Uh, do chooch. Yes. What up? Um, yeah. So, and then I'm going to paint the grill black. It is not the right generation, I don't think. Um, 
because the, the grill should actually be like honeycomb but because the bull bar is there and then maybe i'll put those like speakers for the siren or the the police siren uh it, it's just going to cover it up and it's going to be black so you're not going to see it anyway and also i took off the bumper uh I, I took off the bumper because like you know like i had to paint it so like i'm not gonna i'm not gonna like mess up the bumper um yeah actually troy's on here what's up troy Troy is uh, one of the fabricators uh, for Cletus McFarlane. He's the he's the dude who actually designed. Uh, let's see here. Let's get this stuff up. Um, he is the dude who uh, actually designed uh, the the bumper specifically for Neighbor. Let me see if I can get this bigger for you dudes. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, sweet. So check it out. Like uh, he sent me these pictures on Facebook, which is super badass of him. Cause I don't know if anybody's ever really seen these photos. You know what I mean? Like it, in real life. So I kind of feel a little privy to some coolness that <laughs> that not a lot of people get to see. And like I'm super stoked about it. Um, you can kind of see how he put it together, and you know, like you know what what made it happen. He was saying it was super tough. Uh, and that uh, it's the first time he's made a drift bumper and uh, Troy what badass work man that looks freaking delightful it looks delicious and then also uh, scale addiction on Facebook or and on YouTube scale addiction check them out um, Ali one of their well their main dude who designs bodies he actually recreated the bumper for me I sent him my original files I am definitely, definitely not the best 3D printer, 3D modeler, right? So I kind of crudely slapped the whole thing together and I like made my printer software kind of fix all of the like, uh, all the intersections of the piping and like glue itself together, kind of fixed it in a weird way. And, uh, and he took it and he like made it really badass. In fact, he made it uh, as if uh, Troy bent the like crossbars in a mendrel bender, which if you look, if you look over here, you can see that those uh, those pieces that hold the bumper together are actually straight. But uh, but Ali made it like so beautifully smooth. But regardless, Troy, uh, I got those. Uh, I've got a few of these things printed for you, and I'm gonna send them there in a bag already. I'm just kind of being lazy, and I haven't uh, cut out some stickers for you too. I'm gonna throw in some K-pop, uh, some uh, let's see. Boom, some uh, K-pop stickers uh, to throw in there and uh, and then it'll be on the way. They're, they're like in the bag, ready to go. So that's super cool. That's super cool. Anyway, how's everybody doing? Uh, what's up? Uh, let's see here. I'm gonna read the comments just a little bit because like, I don't wanna, uh, yeah. Uh, Beezine Berry says, love the build. Keep, keep up the good work. Thanks, buddy. Troy says, sup. This is him, man, the man, the myth, the legend. Uh, I think he's also designed a bunch of like, um, I think maybe even the cage for uh, Leroy may have been done by uh, by Troy. So super cool, man. Super cool to have him uh, like hang out with us. Do chooch. <laughs> Is it because I'm all scruffy because I look like a like a squeegee kid? Yeah, my uh, my girlfriend and I joke that I'm a stagehand. I'm gonna like start lifting furniture in the background, start like running things around. Scale addiction, man. Yes, check this dude out. Uh, I'm, later on, I'm gonna show you what he's been working on. Um, he's been working on some pretty pretty sweet RC bodies, and these are bodies you can buy from him. They are not that expensive. I think they're like 15 US dollars. You'll and, you'll, and they're tested and they're printed properly. Like the thing with uh, this. Uh, Bronco is that um, it's a it's a free body so like the the people I don't know if it was in from a video game originally or what but like they're not it's not the best it's not the best like uh, like on on this side here you can see there's like a chip missing like there's just a bunch of weirdness you're not gonna get that stuff from scale addiction that's for sure but yeah yes okay so I'm sure you guys are all here because of the picture the weird picture the weird thumbnail. Uh, <laughs> too chooch. No, no. Rick and Morty. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Now, people say I look a lot like uh, like an older Macaulay Culkin as well, which is weird. Uh, 
let's see. What's this? Can you share the floor plans on the drift car? It would really help with my GTR build. Which drift car are you talking about? Um, are you talking about the Atom LZ one? Or are you talking about which one? I don't know. You're going to have to be more specific. There's a lot of drift builds in my, uh, in my life right now. Sweet. Oh, thanks, buddy. Nicholas, man, appreciate you. It's actually funny. Uh, the, the more videos I post, the, the more subscribers I lose. So yesterday I had 119,050 subscribers. And today I have 119,019, maybe 18 now. I just keep losing subscribers. And I, I, I mean, I think it's all because... Uh, I had Adam LZ shout me out and so I had a whole bunch of his fans like jump on me and now because I'm posting more videos They're like who the hell is this guy and they're just like unsubscribe So hopefully there'll be like a plateau, but I don't care man because as long as I got fans like you dudes uh, I'm like super super happy. You guys are awesome Super yeah, super happy that uh, to have you guys hang out and be super positive and and wicked uh, Ten scale is asking if I'm uh, if I'm putting a siren on neighbor I don't know. I, I I don't think so because I don't know if I can fit anything else in that chassis. I'm like, uh, version one of the sound kit is so big. Uh, I gotta like, uh, I gotta shrink it down. I gotta shrink it down. Uh, I'll show you just a second. I'll show you guys. Why not? Why not get into it? All right. Let's see. Let me uh, let me get this thing going. No, no, let's do it like this. Wicked, let me turn this off. All right, hopefully you guys can hear this. Yeah, so you can see there, uh, I'm just fooling around with different materials to make the sound that I want to make, but I'm not getting much bass out of it, so I think this is just version one. This version one is going to get tossed in the can. Uh, I've already printed a bunch of the wheels with different teeth and different profiles and sizes to try to get like the right, you know, kind of sound or whatever. But uh, but I think the Japanese dudes have it, right? Like they know what the hell they're doing. Um, th like with that, with those plastic bottles. Cause the, the plastic bottles, they deflect in a weird way. And uh, and it seems like it works a little bit, a little bit better, a little bit better. You can kind of hear the beginnings of it, right? You can hear the like, it's getting there, it's getting there. <laughs> ah. There we go, kind of getting, getting, getting it, getting the lobing a little bit, but yeah, there you go. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. What do you dudes think? Is that cool or what? Yeah, see, there you go. Dude Choose is saying, uh, like, you need, like, a hollow shell to get the tones, to get that deeper rumble. Agreed. I totally agree. I just thought I was going to, like, figure out a way to sort of, like, create this, like, lobe, you know, this, like, uh, this, like, lobey gear that, um, you know, that, like, uh, that so I can adjust sort of how, like, how, like, what hits. And I can kind of create, I don't know if you can see it there, but like, oh, I'll put it in front of my face. So like the one section doesn't even have any bumps. So like I'm thinking even removing more teeth so that you're getting less of a rumble. And then get this. All right. So now like version two, version two, I don't have version two ready yet. So don't get mad at me, but version two is going a kind of a completely different, different direction. Um, this little bastard right here uh, is a three to one reduction uh, planetary gear uh, drive. It's what crawler guys use to get more torque and less RPM. So um, this is a, in this way, I can get a much slower rotation, which I find with um, with this system, with the system that I'm like working on right now, the version one, 
I, I can't get it slow enough to get like a nice cogging like like a da 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 that's what I want I want it to be like uh like a aggressive v8 cam you know something that like rumbles a bit more so so this is the next step is going to be like a motor in one end and then probably like um like another or a plastic bottle or some kind of chamber that'll give me the the bassy sound but that's that's the idea you know that's the idea beer stiegel this is the germans uh let's see drift craze what are you saying can you add a cone that on that yeah yeah i was thinking that i just wanted to see if i could get it to like work uh i knew version one was definitely not gonna be uh not gonna be useful and also i was like even trying to figure out ways to like move the the like what holds that piece of plastic further away from the motor just to see if if that makes sound but i guess that's all gonna be in the next video uh i don't know how much i should give away in this live stream but like this is my thought process and uh and i mean any ideas you guys have of course um are welcome because like let's be real this is nobody's really doing this kind of thing so i'm trying i'm trying my i'm trying my best uh playing card yeah see i'm trying to do that but the playing cards it's still a, a treble it's like it's a it's totally a treble sound like you need you need a chamber that echoes through the chamber and i think that would get you the base yeah it does kind of sound like a tr turbocharger the whole idea with this kind of design was to have um it was to have sort of um an axle stick out the other end to have a smaller cog and have another uh reed that would hit there and then that would give me the even higher rpm so i'm try trying to figure out a way to get sort of both uh both a bass and a higher end sound and i also want it to be a separate system so that the so that neighbor can sound like it's idling like it needs to sound like it's idling and uh if i can kind of mount it in the right spot i might be able to get some torque twist which would be super cool if, if i could control that on another knob um and i can uh, rev it and, and it would do this and because of the super scale uh 2020 um active suspension kit it should also amplify uh that torque twist as well which is which would be just that would be like dreams that would be what dreams are made of right let's see here thicker parts maybe yeah i'm thinking like a chain it needs a chamber there has to be some kind of chamber um mike all good buddy no worries man glad to have you uh yeah see ever notice the sound a bottle makes while filling under the tap yeah like that i think that's like the physics of it basically it needs cams <laughs> Yeah, totally. Uh, the floor pans in the two four. Yeah, okay. Yeah, man. I'll uh, if you want those, I'll I'll throw them up on Thingiverse. I just gotta remember, dude. If you can uh, message me on Instagram and remind me, that way I'll actually do it for you. Uh, Clint, smaller center wheel with longer, thicker read, reads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All of these things, all of these things are gonna be tested for sure. Um, and <laughs> drift craze is like twenty five. Yes. All of the Japanese dudes, man, all of the Japanese dudes use a juice container and like, it sounds like, a, well, it sounds like a straight six or like a four banger, uh, depending on sort of the RPM, but, but totally. Okay. But anyway, let me just, uh, let me just bring one, one other super, super sweet, super cool thing. Uh, remember how I said I don't ever want to use a speaker. I'm like, speakers are awful. Almost as much as I was hating on vapes. I wasn't actually being serious. People took me way too seriously with that stuff. But uh, I was really hating on those tiny speakers. And the tiny speakers, because they piss me off. It's like it's like taking the transit and some kid in the back listening to, like, bassy tunes through his iPhone speaker. And you're just like, why does everybody need to hear the treble coming from your phone, man? Like, like I even like that song. But I don't like it through your iPhone speaker, man. Anyway, that's the reason. That's the real reason I don't, I don't like, I really, really don't uh, like the sound of tiny, tiny treble speakers. But let's, uh, I'm going to play this for you dudes and, uh, and uh, tell me what you think.
Right? Right? Okay, so there's this dude, and he deserves way, way, way more, uh, way more subscribers than he has, all right? Like, he just deserves way more subscribers. This dude is called The Car Scaling Project. He is on Instagram. He is also on uh, YouTube, so check him out. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the links in the description after the live stream because unfortunately I couldn't do it beforehand or at least I could but I just I, I brain farted on that one um, but this dude uh, let's see let's get this up again this dude uh, here's him right there and uh, yeah so this is his setup you can kind of see it here um, you can see that it's got a kind of massive, massive speakers, two massive, massive speakers. These speakers create some serious, serious bass. Uh, and, um, you can kind of see that he's using a Raspberry Pi, a, ra a rather, uh, powerful, uh, powerful, uh, CPU, tiny mini computer. Um, and that is what's uh, mixing all of the sounds that he's using. And not only is it taking into account um, the inertia and sort of, and also how much the 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 motor is like struggling. Like it's like amp draw. It's like measuring amp draw to understand acceleration. It this dude like is on a whole whole other level. Um, you can kind of see it there. It even has like a solid state like like uh m3 drive in there i'm assuming he needs something fast to read the the um the sound you know like the the and to mix all the sounds together but uh i talked to this dude briefly and like uh he seems really cool but I, hold on i'm gonna show you guys some more of these because like um like he just deserves the attention you know what i'm saying let's see okay you guys saw that one all right This dude's figured it out. He's figured it out. Too bad it takes up so much space. And uh, and there's something to be said about scale speed, right? Like, this dude is so scale that he's, like, he's, like, playing with his RCs at scale speed. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> look, hold on, I'm going to move it a little forward and, like, yeah, look at his M3. Actually, okay, I'm going to back it up a little bit because, like, Let's see, yeah. How, how sick is that, right? How cool is that? This dude is on point. And so I take it back, all right? I take it back. There are some speaker systems that, um, depending on uh, maybe not being manufactured in mass, that just sound perfect. And like uh, somebody's saying here, why not make something like Traxxas did with their bodies with a speaker? No, because like the th problem with, with the Traxxas speaker system is the speaker is this big. This dude has two, two massive, like a, like massive for the size of the RC car, right? Like he's using like four inch speakers. 
uh, who knows how much power and, and, and the amps that he's using to push uh, the sound through there. It's not quiet. And I feel like the bigger that that diaphragm, uh, the bigger the diaphragm of the speakers, the more uh, like oomph and sound you get, the more uh, juice container sound you get or whatever. Anyway, uh, yeah, Tenscale says, I love all that 90s German stuff. Agreed, man. Um, that's so awesome. And it's it's kind of cool seeing the uh, Audi, the turbocharged, like, rally Audi and hearing the, like, the, the not, not only the wastegate, but the, the blow-off valve, which is obvious, but the wastegate, man. Like, you could hear the wastegate opening and the downshifting and, like, that, like, that tinniness is just amazing. And then on the M3, which is a, you know, and that year was a naturally aspirated six banger. You could hear it. You could hear every part of that thing, you know? Skillish should say that. Yeah, that's next level. Agreed, man. Agreed. Totally agreed. Uh, <laughs> let's do it, man. Let's throw everything against the wall. Let's do speakers, uh, cards, and juice containers. Why not? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, see, that's the thing. Uh, yeah, that's the thing. Wicked, let's see what else you guys are saying. Uh, Andre, hello, buddy. Uh, yeah, RC Garage Garage, sup, buddy? I think I have some of your uh, Instagram photos to shout out, too. Just, uh, yeah, Scale Builders Guild. What's up? What's up, dude? Duder, uh, nice to have you, man. Uh, another... Man, the myth, the legend, for sure. Oh, sorry, agreed. Quattro was five cylinder, five cylinder turbo. Agree, yeah, 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 yeah. My bad. My bad. Let's see, building a roll cage. Yes, sweet man. Uh, actually, that's exactly what I was doing. Uh, my three D printer just finished. All right, look what I just printed. Look, this is why I like the Prusa printer. The Prusa printer is a little bit, I mean, it's expensive, but it comes with this, so I can do this. You know, off it comes, just like that. And then, uh, hold on, I'm gonna close this. So now you can see like how, how much support material I have to peel off to, you know. I'm just gonna toss it. Oh, I don't wanna have to be careful. Anyway, I gotta be careful because there's these like little like um, window pieces here, so I have to be super gentle with this because I think it's like a millimeter, a millimeter thick, those dudes. So I'm gonna, I'll probably wait with that one, but just to give you dudes an idea. All right. Ugh. Oh, I'm terrible. Right? How <laughs> how sick is that? You can kind of see what I was talking about, how STLs use triangles, and they uh, really kind of damage the roundness of um, 3D prints. And I, I wonder if that's going to be a generational thing. Like, I wonder if that's how, you know, 3D printing is going to improve. Like, because right now, like, they can't get the extrusion to be better. Like, they can't get that part better. But they can definitely get the way that you get your models to uh, G-code a little better. And, uh, and I, think, I think that's where we're gonna see the most improvement in the next few years. And I say few years because they're always innovating, right? Like it's, it's just, it's quite, uh, it's quite amazing how much uh, has changed since the uh, Brie Pettis uh, cupcake printing days uh, of the early 2000s. Yeah, a little putty. No, a lot of putty, RC Garage Garage. A lot of putty. God damn it. God damn it. Anyway, you're gonna make me cry. <laughs> uh, SLA. See, the problem with SLAs uh, are the, the materials not strong. You can't, it's not a strong uh, material. And, and, that, and you've got all of these new, um, fused deposition materials uh, coming out of the woodwork and you're getting stronger nozzles and you're getting impregnated steel, you're getting impregnated uh, carbon carbon dust and you're getting all these like really strong polymers and uh, there's a couple of dudes on YouTube that are even taking fused uh, FDM uh, prints and they're like putting them in sand and then baking them and creating sort of a better 
just a better way of, of doing it, I guess, whatever, I guess. Nothing's going to beat injection molds, and nothing's going to beat um, machining metal. Like, you're just not going to beat that. But maybe, I mean, uh, what's that freaking company? There's a company that um, prints in wax, and then uses that wax as a way to then pour molten steel, and you, you create these casts. So, like, that's a whole other thing, but also, like, super, super, super cool. What putty do I use? Uh, you know what? I, I was using Tamiya putty, but it's just too expensive. So I'm just using like crappy automotive spot putty that I got at Crappy Tire. Uh, in, in Canada, that's Canadian Tire. We call it Crappy Tire because every time you get car parts from there, they sell you the wrong ones. Uh, and, and they're awful quality. Whatever. Um, let's see. Yeah, get it. Because it's, it's $218 for the, dollars for the Ender 3 Pro. And, uh, and I'm pretty sure Scale Addiction is using that one. I th I'm pretty sure that's the one that Scale Addiction is using. Let me show you, let me show you what he's doing. Let me get this up. All right, so this is Scale Addiction on, on Facebook. Go check them out. Like, whatever, just join their group. Um, you know, uh, yeah, join their group or, um... Yeah, or, or find them on, on YouTube as well. Uh, they, they've got a lot of, like, super cool things going on. Um, this is the one that he sent me. This is the... He's using the Ender 3. Eh? He's using that. This is uh, what he just printed. I'm sure this is quite a lot of post-processing here. I'm assuming that he did definitely sp spray this with a lot of primer and hit it with a bunch of sandpaper, whatever. But this is what it looks like, okay? This is it. This is what he's doing. Uh, like, look at that. All right? How sweet is that? I'll, uh, I'll let you guys guess how he did the engine. Oh, and, and also he, uh, also, um, also he's uh, giving away these plans, I believe, for free. Uh, you can print your own uh, working uh, jack. <laughs> And uh, I think he even includes the uh, the printing files to print the little stickers. And uh, and this is something he's working on that he's uh, he's actually working on a working lift, like a 10 scale working lift. So this will be able to go up and down. I'm, sh I'm assuming there's going to be a motor on each one, with some kind of speed control, whatever. But uh, but how cool is that? How cool is that? This is the uh, this is the model of that. Um, uh, what, what's it called? The uh, Silverado. Silverado. Oh boy. Silverado. Jeez. I'm starting to lose it. This is uh, the Silverado, right here, and uh, and it's kind of like the 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 actual because it's a free file. It's not done very well. It has all these like weird things inside the model, and it confuses the 3D printing software that creates the slices to then create the prints. So so that's what happens when you get, you know, free models. They're usually riddled with like terrible inconsistencies. Just like they're like really not they're like really not great. They're not not great. So so yeah, find somebody who makes them and who like who loves doing it and uh, and you'll have a way better time than I do when I'm looking for like free ones just to print. Um, but, oh yeah, this one, okay, hold on. This is another one that like, uh, I'm like drooling over. Um, Cause I kind of want to make this into a drift, <laughs> a drift truck, you know? It's like a 1960s like Ecoline van or whatever. How cool is that? It's pretty good, it's pretty good. That's really awesome. Uh, let's see what uh, I'm gonna see. What are you guys saying? Uh, where can I find these files, dude? Um, this is all Thingiverse. If you go on Thingiverse and you just search RC body, you will just find a, just a ton of them. Just a ton, ton of them. But like, if you want, you know, if 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 you go to um, you know, uh, scale addiction on Facebook. They have a bunch of ones that are a little better, but they're like 10 bucks. I bought the Cletus one. I bought the Cletus one for 10, 
and uh, for ten ten dollars, right? Ten dollars. But this one is kind of a pain in the ass. This one has like a lot of weird, weird issues. Like you can kind of see, like here, it's got this like uh, this like plastic part, and on the other side, it's like missing for some reason. Oh no, it's on the back. Uh, on the back. So on this side, it's got it. On that side, it doesn't got it. If you look at like the lip here, is there's no lip, but on this side, there's a lip. Like, I just, I don't get it. And then there was, like, all these weird, like, weirdness that I had to do. And I had to cut it up. I had to scale it to size. Like, I had to do a whole bunch, whole bunch of stuff to get it to print. And, uh, and that was kind of, kind of a thing. Dude, no. I, I, I will never, ever sell 3D printed bodies. And I'll tell you why. Um, I only have one 3D printer. And that Silverado print that you just saw took, like, uh, almost two days just for the cab section and like it's sitting here and I'm working here like I work from home right now because of the virus that shall not be named um, I'm working from home and I've got this thing buzzing in my ear and like no I'm not ever gonna sell these things the only way I would ever sell bodies is if I had 15 printers in a room with like a fire suppression system and just like running on octo print and like where you can monitor them from away from home and like you can remotely turn off your your printers and stuff no no, no. this is just a hobby for me and I'm just doing it for fun so you know uh, so I'll never never sell the, the bodies unfortunately which um, yeah, what, what, you know, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Yeah, let's see what else you guys are saying. Uh, yeah, scale body. You know, I would even say that it's um, easier with the real one because the real one is so much bigger and you can get these like long strides and you can use larger pieces of sandpaper. With this thing, you're just like, with like a little piece of sandpaper and you're like, I gotta get in this little spot right here. And then you're like, Tch. and you're like eating the powder. I hate, <laughs> I hate, I hate body work, man. <laughs> oh, what have I done? What have I done? Uh, I <laughs> uh, wish I could get a printer now. Well, dudes, save your beans, man. Um, it's two hundred dollars, right? Like, uh, I don't know how many beer beer cans. Oh, do you guys get uh, change for beer cans? Whatever, just like throw a toonie in a thing for like a week and a half, two weeks or something. Throw all your change in a in a bowl or whatever. It's two. It's two hundred dollars. Like I spent more money. Uh, what if I spend more money on, uh, snowboarding, uh, in one day, uh, like, come on, on like, uh, I don't know. I've spent $200 on stupid stuff is what I'm trying to say. Um, but yeah, let's see here. Reason. Yes. Just, just do it, man. Just do it. Uh, like I have to say, uh, create, uh, what is it? I can't even remember who makes the ender three. Um, create, uh, create, creatorly or something. I don't know, but, uh, they're a shitty company. Ooh, they're a crappy company. Um, they're not very good with like helping you out if something goes wrong. Oh, sorry, dudes. They're not, uh, oh, they're not good with helping you out if you got problems, but there's a huge, huge community of, um, of, of them, of people who own the printers and just like tons of upgrades to print right out of out of the gate and uh, you'll get that printer running quite well the prusa is amazing right out of the box like it just works really good. not the mini but the uh the i3 mark 3 type s plus now i think it's called geez they keep it's like a bmw they keep adding things to the name um yeah, that one is, is, is much better, but it's like 10 times the price, right? So you you don't really get what you pay for, but you get the support with the Prusa. You know, oh, right, there you go. That's the name. That's the company right there. Uh, yeah, around the same price, right? Like, the thing with a welder, though, is now you're going to have to get a chop saw, right? <laughs> and an angle grinder. And you're gonna have to, oh, you're gonna have to rent a tank. You're gonna have to get argon and carbon dioxide mix. You know what I mean? Like, you gotta think of all of the stuff that needs to go with the welder, and then you'll be like, okay, maybe, like, well, how much stuff am I gonna weld? Like, I can print coat hangers, coat hooks, or like, you know, I can, like, oh, there's knob broke on my oven, I'll print one. 
Uh, yeah, no, I just use body filler on the PLA. God knows how long it'll last in the sun, but I feel like after automotive paint on top, it's not gonna, um, you know, it's hopefully not gonna shrink too much. Um, oh, nice. Let's see, uh, wait, let's see here. Ender 3 uh, and Chip on YouTube. Nice, perfect. John, I, I'm actually thinking about picking one up just to have it so I can like be sort of a mouthpiece on like why all of us hobbyists need to get into 3D printing. Oh, okay. Uh, yes, okay, check this out. Another reason to get a 3D printer, all right? Uh, I think I spent $20 on these plans and this is a 100% printed uh, drift car. Everything on here that you see um, is 3D printed except the bearings. Um, you can see it even has like a sliding steering uh, system. It's still in pieces because I have so many projects on the go that like I'm kind of, I'm kind of, I just, uh, I got to finish one, like I got to finish neighbor before I start something else because otherwise I just will never finish anything. But uh but like even um, the drive line is 3D printed, right? Like, how cool is that? That's pretty cool. Anyway, that's some, some, something to stay subscribed to my channel for because there's gonna be stuff like that coming, right? Which is super cool. Um, but yeah, like if I'm gonna tell you guys to do anything, it's get a 3D, get a 3D printer for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. And the Ender 3, like we were saying, they're $200. Uh, they'll come as a kit, which is great. You want to put it together. If you put to, if you've ever put together uh, RC car, you can put together a 3D printer. Um, you watch a bunch of videos of people who are doing it, so you get a bunch of tips and how to you know where not to put too much pressure when you're screwing stuff together, or or what to lube, you know that kind of stuff. It's just important to sort of like do your due diligence and research because the company um, won't be helping you out if like you break something. Yeah, let's see. Dad's RC workbench. Love my Ender 3, and I've been printing nylon. Crazy. Okay, so nylon is a really, really hard plastic. Like, it's much harder than PETG. Uh, it's, it's harder than ABS. Um, it's just stronger. It just holds together stronger. I don't know if it's harder, because, like, harder can sometimes mean more brittle. But uh, but that's crazy. Uh, that's cool. I, I I thought most people usually have to put it in an, an enclosure to keep it kind of in a self-contained like oven. You know what I mean? Like I thought that uh, that that's like necessary for nylon printing. But uh, but the fact that you're doing that on a stock Ender three that's another reason. To, oh man, so many reasons. So many reasons. What happened, Justin? What happened to the E three wag? You mean? <sighs> You mean this one that just stares at me? It just stares at me, and uh, and I love looking at it. <laughs> I got I kind of got tired. I got a little tired with this one. I kind of had to put it on on the shelf and just like chill with it. It's too heavy to drift, really. So like, it's like more of like a pretty thing to look at, and and that kind of like it kind of like made me lose. It just kind of made me like lose. Uh, motivation to get it done but it'll i'll bring it back don't worry i'll probably bring this back before i bring the 100 percent 3d printed um drift car back okay. but yeah this thing's delicious and i have another body for it as well the another wagon that i made wide body with m3 uh, box flares which is super cool because like let's be real if i had a garage and an e30 touring wagon I would probably make it wide body too. Yes. Um, oh, sweet. Yeah, wicked. I don't like. I just don't know much about them. I just know like the bot, like the, the you know what to like sort of recommend people. Um, weed whacker string. Yeah, some. I think some dude tried to print something with weed whacker string, or is that the nylon that you're talking about? Party time. What up? Yeah, party time. Food dehydrator. I ha I have never needed a food dehydrator. Maybe that speaks to how absolutely dry 
how dry my apartment is, how, how, how like, just like itchy my skin is all the time, but I've never, I've never needed a food dehydrator, which is, I guess, count myself lucky, because I've never really had any issues with the filaments. Also, I use a Prusa filament, which is slightly more expensive, um, but I just never have any issues, so, yep. Sweet. Uh, 920 filament. Okay, cool. I'm assuming that's the filament he's using. Um, what is this one? Voitech. It costs double, yeah. And it also eats your um, nozzle, so you need a you need a really good nozzle for that. Oh wait, uh, no, man. What else am I gonna look at when I'm working here from home? <laughs> oh wait, that's true. This guy. This guy, I've got this guy to look at. Oh, yes. Oh, I can't wait to backflip this thing in the snow. It's gonna be great. All right, I'll leave that over there. Yeah, man, everybody loves that Beamer. You know what, I had more views on that project than I do the Cletus build. So like, I guess that goes to show you, sometimes you go for the clickbait and it just like doesn't work out and, uh, and that sucks. What's up, Will? I don't think you missed anything important. If you want, though, you can rewatch. What else? The trophy truck. Oh, the trophy truck I use on a regular basis. I just like, that's the kind of RC car I just like take out and like rip. And then, um, you know, like don't film because like filming makes stuff crappy sometimes. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, I can bring it. I'll bring it. I actually brought it one day, but then it was closed for Halloween. I had it in my car on Halloween and nobody was there. I was like, oh, great. <laughs> What's up, dude? Uh, oh, my take on the... Yes. Um, actually, Nezo, one of the RC guys that we drift with, the one of the, like top top dudes at my track the one you're seeing right here actually you'll probably see him the onboard shots are actually him oh that's not that's not it yeah so he actually has an unboxing video of it on his youtube channel so check him out it's uh nezo's bad shop on youtube i'll leave a link he did an unboxing of it it's just a beautiful just a beautiful uh not only the lexan body is beautiful but the whole design's incredible like they put the battery in this one spot and then they, you add this like lead shot or like these little like heavy plates and so it can like teeter back like they've balanced it in a way that like you don't really need a lot of energy to pop it which is super cool if you guys don't know what i'm talking about it's the red cat lowrider rc car it's a bit expensive um, i think like in canada it's, it's like a grand after tax but uh but my god is it ever a just a beautiful just a beautiful rc car man red cat no is is killing it these days just killing it um oh uh, you know what i haven't seen it yet but uh he has talked to me about it a little bit and uh oh are you talking about me if you're talking about me building a super scale kai truck yeah i have one it's like on my shelf there still in a box i haven't unboxed it yet and I even have a M4 or like a small Secura um, four-wheel drive chassis for it. But I don't know. I'm thinking I might end up do it like an F1 mashup build with it. But this is all like stuff that I need to think about later. I got to finish Neighbor. Uh, oh, I don't know. HPI TTs. I don't know what that is. A fresh body, a tire wheels, making the shelf queen again. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, dude, uh, I have something coming that is going to blow all your minds. It's going to be in the mail very, very soon, and it is a fifth scale monster, and it's going to just, everyone's going to lose their, their, man, I can't say the S word. Everyone's going to lose their minds. Yes. So stay tuned for that, man. Maybe, hopefully, people subscribe again because I've lost 40 subscribers in three days. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was funny, but uh, 40 people didn't. So, the, yeah, I lost 40 subscribers on that one. That was a bit of a mistake. Maybe it was the line that was, um, get ready to get your balls smashed. I think 
I think that's the line that did it. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, I don't know. I think I had it here. Oh, yeah, I do. I had to pull it off. You mean this? Uh, this guy? I mean, I just, I glued it with uh, Shugu. Shugu is the universal glue for all um, RC drifters, by the way, because it's light and it's non-permanent and it's sticky as all hell. Uh, but the only reason I used Shugu is because I knew I was going to have to peel it off to paint it. So, um, so yeah, that's what it looks like. This is um, not printed. This is, uh, like, why print something that you know you can't get perfect with a printer? So this is styrene. This is just a styrene tube, and it just fits fits in. I did print this little piece on the, uh, on the cross piece there, but yeah, Shugu, yeah, Shugu is definitely the best. Who doesn't, yeah, I mean, it depends on who's getting their balls smashed, I think, but, uh, but yeah, yes. Um, ooh, thank you. Yeah, I, Yes, I've seen a few. I was kind of, I'm really kind of pissed about it because I like pre-ordered this truck before I started the neighbor project and I was like so keen on making the wide body and doing a Hoonigan replica, like the Kai truck replica build. And uh and darn it, just gosh, darn it. It's the, it like Banggood also sold my truck from me even though I pre-ordered it. So never order from Banggood cuz they'll screw you over. They'll ball bust you. Um, and, uh, and then by the time it got here, it was like, I think it was like three weeks ago. So, I mean, just like it's now it's on the back burner. So dang it. Drag car. Yeah. Drag car would be cool. I'm actually kind of toying with the idea of doing bully PFI's bully, you know, um, and trying to find, maybe use a semi, uh, axle and uh and just direct mount the motor like right to that semi axle because they're so short and then have those big big stubby um axles but they did change it they did back to uh independent suspension so in the front so it kind of changed it a little bit so i don't know i would probably go with the like solid tub with the two shocks on the back design which obviously didn't work very well because they dropped it oh Nice. 5.22 a.m. Dude, early riser, man. All good. You're going to have the whole day to sleep. <laughs> no bang good. No, bang good is no good. They know how to bang you. Uh, yeah, bully would be sick, agreed. I don't know if you guys don't know what I'm talking about. Just go and subscribe to PFI. They're like the Boosted Boys tuner. They like Boosted Boys used to get their cars tuned there. And then, uh, and then Brett started a YouTube channel, and now Brett won the uh, Le, Le Mullets and drove home his uh, his prize the other day. My God, that whole universe of YouTubers is super fun to watch. Yeah, I would stick with WPL like direct. Don't don't sway from them for sure. And also, they like are super nice dudes. Like I've talked to them a lot, and uh, and they're just like really, really, really nice guys. And, like, if you have a problem, they'll just, like, listen to you. Like, Banggood, it's like a robot until it's not a robot. And then you got to deal with some snarky D-bag. Yeah. No. No. Racing semi. I don't know. Like, I, I have you guys ever heard of a, a military truck called the Oshkosh? I kind of, like, if I ever do a semi, it's going to be, like, a 16-wheel, like, Oshkosh. Um... Yeah. <laughs> uh, Hoonicorn, all-wheel drift would be sick. I know. I know. Drift bug, eh, I don't know. Yeah, no, agreed. Yeah, it does. It totally does, but who cares? Like, the whole the whole idea is to, like, build this, like, this, like, model from that part of, of automotive history, you know? I feel like those dudes are all, like, creating... They're recreating what automotive racing is you know what i mean like like before it used to be millionaires it used to be millionaires that had to like that could facilitate the racing you know they were just like oh you know like all oh, my investments are making me money so i can go on the weekend and drag race now it's like 
these like mom and pop dudes are like creating these YouTube channels and they're like funding these like amazing projects and then they're all working together and like making these like cool man that's a dream uh, I'm hoping as soon as the virus that shall not be named decides to um, F off I'm gonna be doing some traveling traveling oh god I'm losing my voice I'm gonna start doing some traveling and uh, and definitely visit some people in the states and uh, and just go hang out or whatever. Um, yeah. Drag slash. I, I'll you know what, dude? I'll never, I'll never buy another Trax. Maybe okay. Maybe I shouldn't say that. I don't like Traxxas. I feel like they're really plasticky. The chassis are all kind of crap. Like it just doesn't. There's nothing about it that makes me feel like I'm driving a scale anything. You know, it's just a. It feels like a toy that's made strong enough to handle hobby grade motors and voltages. You know. Oh uh, yeah. See. Yeah. Agreed. Totally. Yeah. I. I don't know. We'll see. Right. Like we'll see. You know. I've got like nine projects on the go. Anyway. All right, dudes. I'm gonna. I'm gonna start shouting out people. Cause like. Uh, I'm going to try to keep this thing till 11 o'clock, uh, which would be, which would be good. I don't want to necessarily go too, too long. Um, so yeah, let's do like, uh, all right. So there's a, there's a hashtag that I've been using, um, for a long time. And, uh, and that hashtag is, uh, hashtag scale as, uh, shoot. I don't want to say the S H. IT word because uh, YouTube's gonna demonetize my video because they suck like that and they just suck in general because only 1% of my subscribers see my videos um, but yeah so I, I figure I would shout out some people and uh, and I think this super is pretty badass and I like really need to find those little tiny watch screws to like properly uh, affix wide bodies to Lexan um, these guys have it on point um, looks really good. Yeah, check out this Lexus, man. It's just, just pretty, just pretty. Look at the poke. The weird thing about these kinds of things are this is all for show. Like you can't drift a car like this, right? Like this is like a display chassis, or or it's set in a way that just looks really good for camera. But you can't drift that. But I don't care, man. If it sits on your shelf and you can drool over it, then why why the hell not, eh? Why not? I, I'm a big sucker for Skylines. Um, just just too bad that uh, it's so expensive to buy them from Japan now. You know, these things are going for like 100K now, which is nuts. Um, just, it, it's kind of ruined it a little bit, the importing scene. Yeah. Let's see what's going on, what's going down. Yep totally scale scale as shoot what up from us i was i was gonna say austria australia that's uh all the way halfway around the world man you're like almost a full day away you're like 16 hours ahead or oh my god behind i don't know it's the different day over there yep yep agreed yeah like i said i'm a scale i'm a sucker just an absolute sucker for gtrs man like come on Look at this thing. Oh, scale, your super scale uh, added again, printing some seriously cool uh, bodies, um, which is pretty cool. And I think even here it says like, oh, it doesn't say how long he's been he's been printing this body for, but I'm sure it's I'm sure it's a few I'm sure it's a few days. It's got to be a few days. Uh, just I'm a, I'm a sucker for uh, scale crawlers too, especially with like light kits and stuff. Oh, I'm gonna stop this one. Wow. Something to be said about good photography, eh? Well, uh, Ginger, you should start uh, tagging scale as shoot uh, s h i t um, on your photos, and I'll find them. <laughs> um. Oh, right. Where was I? There you are. Tensegill Garage, man. You're always uh, hanging out. Appreciate you, buddy. Um, there's a few of them on here um, from you as well. And uh, it's another thing I was saying. Like, photography is king, man. Like, it just makes everything look real, really, really tasty. 
Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, totally, totally. Uh, I'd have to get the right tires or whatever, but I don't know. I feel like that would deserve its, like, own own build. Um, like, ground-up build or whatever. Oh, all right, so we were talking about the uh, Red Cat, um, uh, you know, lowrider or whatever, and uh, this is it right here, and uh, it's, just an, it's just a beautiful rig. Oh, hilarious. So um, this dude, Drift, Drift Spec, He's posted his uh, this hashtag on his car a few times, and I'm assuming he cracked it drifting or something. And uh, and so he saw he saw my uh, build. Here, I'm gonna switch this. So he saw my build, and he saw that I um, I made drift stitching out of just like red, just red thread and a needle and a candle, and I just used a candle and I poked holes and then I stitched red stitching through to like fake the fact that my my zero f's drift build uh, had a cracked bumper which i thought was kind of cool so so he did it there or whatever and it uh and it looks pretty pretty sweet i, I really i really like that look oh there you go so he cracked it and that's how he fixed it which i think is super cool yeah this dude uh zito's world zito's world um just like this is the kind of stuff I love. Like, look, it's like a. He's got frame rails. It's just kind of super true to life. Like, I wonder if he's gonna go with leaf springs. He probably is. Um, oh, these are local dudes. So these dudes. Um, I try to drift with these dudes. Um, I'm not quite as as good as they are, but these are the dudes that uh, stick together in tandem pretty pretty well. And I'm usually running behind them with my camera. Um, so shout out to. Um, Strictly Sideways Crew. Um, cool interiors, super cool. Man, it's hard. It's like, I feel like I'm just just going. Oh, here it is without the cracks. What? Oh, okay, so Super Scale showed me this. He finally finished painting this body. I think this is an RC four-wheel drive body. And, uh, and he got the rust to, like, look so, so good. So good. And he has the scale, uh, like that uh, suspension, suspension kit that kind of makes it look like it's rocking. And my God, man, it looks so good. I'm a sucker for drift missiles, eh? Like anything that looks like uh, like it's it's had a hell of a time or it's been worked on, you know? I love the chain, like the chain, the scale chain and the primer or whatever. And then the like body filler in the corner there. How cool is that? There's that truck again. Love that thing. These are all just dudes uh, who, um, who've used the hashtag scale as shh. Yeah, um, yeah. I'm just keep keep finding, stumbling on stuff like this, and like, man, it just it just shows how far I have to go to get better at what I do, you know? Because these dudes are just like, absolutely murdering it. Like, the, like that looks amazing. This, I can't even imagine how much time it took, or just like the skill or whatever. Um, but yeah, uh, RC every day is great. Yeah, totally, totally agree. Um, Uh, let's see, I'm sorry, I'm just making sure I'm not missing any comments. Yeah, I, I don't like. I am friends with uh, Aaron on uh, on Facebook. Um, I see him a lot. Like he's kind of a family RCer. He's just kind of having super a lot of fun. I like a lot of his projects, and um, I'd be lying if I said that I wasn't uh, if I wasn't like. Uh, you know, watching him regularly. And uh, now he's got that submarine that he's using, which is pretty cool. I don't know much about uh, Afro RC. I should probably check check him out. Oh, Simply RCs. He was stoked that I uh, subscribed to him. North Coast RC couldn't make it today. He's got to work early. So he messaged me and told me uh, that he wasn't going to make it. So if uh, North Coast, man, if you're watching this, cheers, dude. Um, I uh, hope you made it to work on time. All right, Wigid, what's up? Scale JP. I'm assuming Japan. Yeah, some cool stuff, man. Oh, this dude's a real car, man, but I'm a, I'm a sucker for these two doors. They're, like, impossible to find now, um, which sucks. Oh, yeah, Josh. Josh Geek. Yeah, he's 
yeah, these people know what they're doing. Although this is definitely a rendering. I don't know if this actually ever made it in real life. The, the problem with renderings is that you can like add textures, you can make things look really, really good. But once you then vectorize or you, um, you know, G-code them for like 3D, FDM 3D printing, they just don't look that great. And th I think this is where the liquid resin uh, printing is, the SLA printing um, comes into play. Like stuff like this, like where it's not structural, it doesn't need to be strong but it needs to be super precise. This dude just has, this Josh Gay guy has, has gig. Josh Gig guy has some really cool, really cool projects, just stuff I aspire to. Oh, this is Randall. So uh, if you guys hang out uh, on Thursdays, Scale Science does a uh, podcast with a bunch of dudes and uh, Rand this is Randall, this is one of, one of those dudes and he makes these like matchbox cars that are like kind of goofy cartoony, but they're super cool, and uh, and he tagged me on that one. And then, of course, Scale Science. Uh, I bought this design. I just haven't printed it yet, but I always thought it would be really cool to get, like, four or five of these things built and, like, tandem drift them together. I, thought, I just always wanted to do that. That would be really cool. Um, oh, and then Scale Science built this huge cage rear end um, section out of, I think that's styrene, and then end 3D printed stuff, like... Um, and it just looks so awesome. Like he did such a good job with that. And then this is the kind of stuff that just like blows my mind. So th this guy's just like making a totally custom RC, right? Like he picked some kind of weird differential and he's made his own uh, A arms um, with ball ends and whatever. And, uh, and this stuff just is super inspiring. Like this is the kind of stuff that I really want to get into and, and start doing um, instead of just making heavy like um, RC cars that don't drift. Um, yeah, yeah, mind blowing. Totally agree, man. Um, yeah, Hoonigan, Virgman, Virgman. Yeah, man, that could, that could, that could be it. That could be it. I don't know. Oh man. All right, great. Uh, what up? I'm taking some cars out. Let's see. Yeah, do it, man. Um. Anyway, Josh Martin. Yeah, Josh Martin's really cool. Anyway, sorry, I'm trying to keep up. This is hard. It's hard to keep it afloat, you know, when you're just, like, showing pictures. So Superscale sells these things. These are, like, 124 scale RC cars. They also have um, active suspension. I think this is what, this one's called the candy van or something or, like, the creepy van or something. I'm trying to see if it has it on the... <laughs> but, uh, but, man, he's got some really, really cool projects. And, uh, like, man, that guy's uh, always inspiring me as well. Like, gas... Like, that's just hilarious, man. I just love that stuff. And then, of course, just beautiful photography. And, and oh, another local dude uh, in, in front of the Tim Hortons. Um, yeah, Datsuns. Man, just some cool stuff, dudes. Some cool stuff. You can see what people tag me on, eh? Love that stuff. Old school skyline, man. Look at the cage. Like, the cage is super sick super sick um this one uh got me because like if you look at the um i don't know i think it's a mx5 so i don't i don't know what um four banger motor that is but it's got uh individual throttle bodies but if you look closely he had to kind of bore a hole through the motor so that the um the single shock i'm assuming that's a sakura um d4 um that shock can go through and i thought that was like super cool and innovative uh, the cage is a bit weird. It looks like a hula hoop. Uh, oh, and uh, this is like a pretty badass Honda Civic. Um, although I do still think they look like uh, Sony Explode stereos from the 90s. Oh, another local dude, 110 scale cars. I think this dude eventually ended up going to university and might not play with uh, RC cars anymore. But yeah, Sony Explode. Sony Explode Stereo, man. I don't know if you grew up in the 90s, but that's that's it. Oh, here's uh, Ender. So you can kind of see, this is uh, that cheap Ender printer, right? And and this is the kind of stuff that it's printing. A you know, $200 printer. Oh, and then Mad Max. Of course, I'm a sucker for these kinds of like, like Mad Max designs or whatever. Anyway, I'm gonna kind of hammer through. Oh, if you guys are old, old school, um, subscribers then you'd remember that i made an rx7 um drift car with opening doors and pop-up lights this is the same body which 
which is crazy because um, I didn't know I didn't even know that there was another one out there like I, I got that car in the early 80s and the body and this dude has the same one but I think this I don't know where this dude's from but uh, obviously he's making everything custom and doesn't have a huge a huge budget so look how sick is that man how sick is that oh my god like just killed it <laughs> just killed it oh man oh, all right i had to show this because uh i used to have three of these in real life and uh one of them had a swapped integra motor in it it was pre-vtec it had a 1.6 liter zc um, motor from japan one of them was a carbureted zc motor dual overhead cam 1.6 liter from a quint integra in japan very rare engine with a carburetor and then the other one had a black top um, ZC engine um, with OBD1, I think. It might have even been OBD0. And we hacked the ECU with a Motes EEPROM emulator. And uh, we put a T3, T4 turbo on it. And that thing was the fastest car I've ever had, ever, because it weighed less than a ton. And uh, it had about 230-ish horsepower. Um, yeah, it's wrong wheel drive, but my God, that was probably the highlight of my life was hanging out with my brother and uh, ripping up the back roads in uh, Northern Ontario um, with the blow off valve going and, uh, and a popping backfire exhaust with a cherry muffler and no resonator and no cat. <laughs> Man, good, good times. I have pictures of it, but it was pre, this is like, it's from a pre digital camera days. All right. Like, like that year, I think I got a one or 1 1.2 megapixel Nikon cool pics camera. And, uh, I proceeded to break it when I fell off of a mini bike at my buddy's garage. Oh yeah. 110 scale cars, uh, 1.10 underscore cars. This dude, um, is designing really cool stuff. And, uh, and yeah. Yeah, I'm going to make a bunch of stickers for sale. At some point, I'm going to start the K-pop shop, and uh, I'm going to be selling a few liveries. Um, primarily, it's going to be a sticker sheet with, like, um, drift stitching, um, a bunch of license plates with a uh, scale as sh license plate, and uh, and I think a for sale sign um, that's going to be on there, and just like a bunch of Japanese things and other cool stuff. So uh, it's something to look forward to. Hopefully, um, you guys will buy buy it because I, I know like nobody's gonna buy um recaro seats for forty dollars plus shipping so i uh, may as well be doing like uh stickers for three bucks because it's cheaper to ship and like ugh, man okay anyway obviously things to look forward to um this is my dashboard i designed for the adam lz project that i had i have up on um thingiverse and uh it's cool to see other people printing it um super cool i think that's an acura right um, this is a real car. I don't even know why it's in here. I love these, like, missile builds, man. The missile builds are the coolest. How many pictures are... Okay. We don't have that many. I'm just gonna keep it going. Because, uh, why not? There's some really cool ones. Oh! Yes! Buddy, I haven't seen you there yet. I'm assuming it's just, like, a tough time for people to get out. Um, which makes, makes a lot of sense, but, uh... Nice to see you, dude. Uh, oh, um, starter for RC drifting. Uh, I'm going to do a kind of a series about this where I'm going to interview a lot of people about the what to do to get in the hobby. You got to understand that, like, even if you're going to go on the cheapest side of things, you're still going to end up spending a bunch of money. So you just got to know, like, kind of buy cheap, buy twice, or, like, buy used... You know, like I think um, Scale Science ha had a lot of like really good insight and I'm going to be interviewing him as well as a whole bunch of other um, RC drifters of just about like the best way to do it. I think the best thing to do for RC drifting is to go find a community of people that are doing it and then buy someone's platform, buy someone's car, buy used, buy their body used just so 
they're looking to recoup some money and they know they're not going to make back what they what they spent on it and you're going to get a kick-ass deal and it'll also be set up and you'll know that it works and you won't have to start from scratch and you won't have to have somebody show you like how to like set up the caster camper and all that stuff you're just going to have it and it'll be set up for the track that you're going to be going to and like that's that's what you want to do because like um buying like what I would do, like, I would recommend the D5, the Secure D5 chassis, but you're going to get it out of the box. You're going to have to put it together, and then you're going to be, like, clueless about, like, how to get it to run and perform properly. Even, I think on the box of the D5 Secure, it even says, please consult someone who knows what they're doing so that you, they can set this thing up for you. Because there are little tweaks, like, that's the one cool thing about RC Drifting, is that you, you can make one little change and you'll feel it right away. And, and that's kind of super cool. But So you need to get somebody who is um, knowledgeable, who knows what they're doing to set up your car. And once they do set up your car, then you're going to have a much better time and much more fun learning the ropes. Because like, you can't, you can't, you, you won't stumble on it. You won't like fall into it. You won't find a YouTube video that'll tell you how to do it. Every surface is different. You got, it's a feel thing. It's a total, total feel thing. Um, let's see. Yokomo. Yeah, they do. They do. Yeah, they do. But I, I stand by what I'm saying. Go find go find that community of people. They're all super cool dudes. Usually the track will have like parts and you support the track and then it becomes this community thing. And uh, and community community uh, communities for this thing are like super, super important. Just like super important. Yeah. Yeah, sweet. Thanks, man. Oh, Eric, what's up, dude? Uh, let's see. You, I gotta use security for it. Still learning to drift. Yeah, get make sure it's set up properly. Like, get somebody who who has that chassis to set it up for you, because uh, it's another weird one. Secura really did a, a a much better job setting up the D5. Um, I feel like they even st started using a different type of plastic. Like um, the D4's got some quirks to it that. Um, are a little weird the uh this is uh this is the d5 um under here um and what's actually the coolest thing is that it came with magnetic mounts but uh you can see um just how back heavy everything on this car is in this part everything else is light everything else is just super light in the front and it actually is raked back so like the front of the car is higher than the back of the car, which is kind of funny. You know, like like it's not conducive to uh, poke and uh, and stance boy nations. Um, but it damn does it dri it drifts well, and everybody at the track who has one is is doing really well with it. Um, but I mean, they would definitely probably tell you to get the Yoko Yokoma YD2 or whatever, whatever it's called. Um, but that's a $450 chassis before electronics. This thing, I think, is $200 US, right? Just the, the, the chassis alone. So it, this is the best way to get in, uh, like I think right now. But um, next to buying a used platform from somebody from your track. Yeah. Yeah, sweet. Let's see. K-pop, have a good night, man. Later. Uh, Lewis, thanks for hanging out, man. Appreciate you. Uh, don't know. I have no idea. I'm not even gonna pretend to know what I'm talking about with that. I like. I only have experience with uh, with Secura chassis, and uh, and I'm. I mean, I have a couple of other ones, but they're too heavy to drift, so I can't even really give you that much insight. Uh, oh, yeah. Go to your local track though, because somebody's gonna be like, I want to get a new chassis, and like. I gotta sell the old one, and here it is for two hundred bucks, and you're gonna get a four hundred dollar chassis for two hundred bucks, and then whatever you know, you can take that two hundred bucks, and you can you know upgrade the servo, or you can get a decent uh, gyro or whatever. Yeah. Oh well, that sucks, man. But yeah, but you just go like once a month, you know, hang out, and then uh, and then the rest of the time you could be drifting in your basement. I don't know if you have uh, f concrete floors or whatever, but. Um, Let's see what this uh, rally L tracks battery killed itself. Uh, yeah, sometimes that's just the way it is with uh, hobby stuff. 
you can get you can get bad luck and uh, and you can slip on some ice or you can <laughs> sometimes bad luck comes in threes you know what I'm saying oh sweet yay the lay yes thank you dude um, I'm hoping it's better I've only got one camera going this time before I had two cameras uh, and also I think it's a chrome thing chrome was being weird I had to like reset everything yeah sweet no drift track but a dirt track and a road course yeah but the road course could be a drift track you just got to find out when they're not racing but yeah yeah oh shit uh yeah yeah also would be cool to do oh shit sorry man wait did i miss like one of your one of your images i don't know rc garage garage i'm sorry dude i'm trying not to be too robotic with the photos so i kind of like ditched the photos um but yeah yeah i'm trying to think what else uh oh right vivian all oh, right there's this dude this dude just makes me kind of hate life a little bit. There's this dude on Instagram called Vivian Grober. I'm going to show you guys. So this dude, I think he makes everything out of styrene. I think this is a styrene dude. He just makes everything from those sheets of styrene and, and he uses like a solvent to melt the styrene to get it to look, you know, to make it look really good. But, but man, this dude just like... Like, that's a model, man. Like, that's a 10th scale BMW. Like, what? What? What do you mean, man? What do you mean? You should just quit, because you're making us all look bad, Vivian. Viv yeah, Vivian. Okay, Vivian. Like, what? Come on. Come on, man. Come on. No. 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 No! But really, I mean, all the respect in the world, my God. See, this is the kind of stuff that, like, you just aspire to. Or, like, maybe you just don't ever get this good. I don't know. It's like one or the other. Like, d the dude should be making models for, like, the Smithsonian or something. You know, like, at this point, it's just like, dude, this should be your job. You are... Uh... A robot or something or like uh, or you're making them on the computer and you're telling everybody it's a model no it's real no god dang it come on making us all look bad man <laughs> oh boy well you know what can you do right what can you do what can you do Uh, I, did I miss it, RC Garage? Did I put it in the thing? Is it in the... Uh, RC Garage Garage. I'm sorry I missed it, man. I'm not going to, like, go to Instagram because I can't, like... This is a full screen, um... Oh, shit, I didn't even realize... That was on there. Uh, this is a full screen, um, Premiere uh, playback. So, like, I'd have to, like, download it, put it into Premiere, and then play it from a sequence, so... Uh, next one, dude. Next uh, Tuesday. I'm going to try to make these a weekly thing. So if you guys want to hang out on Tuesdays, um, I'm going to try to actually bring in people. I think that's, um, the goal. Uh, now that we're getting like seven minutes in seven minutes, I'm going to kill the stream. But, um, so next week I'm going to try to bring in some people to interview, um, people that I'm hoping say yes would be, uh, super scale 2020. I would love to have him on the show just to ask him like, how, how that crazy bastard decided to create the active suspension kit that he did. Um, it'd be really, really cool to interview him. Uh, maybe one of the uh, scale sciences dude, um, Jordan, would be really cool to interview. Just like um, some people who are like, uh, just like YouTubers too that, uh, that also want to come and hang. Um, I, don't know if, uh, I don't know if Harley would come on here. Um, he's kind of like on a whole other level of our seeing, I, I think, um, uh, he's like, I think he's just like, uh, like I, I, I wouldn't be on the level to like have a conversation with him. I would be speaking just purely out of ignorance. I think that guy is an encyclopedia of RC and, uh, it, uh, I, I'm super intimidated by his knowledge. Maybe that's just me being, uh, a, a pussy. 
I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, Tall Boy. Oh, Tall Boy Tuesday. I like that. Ten scale garage. Cheers, buddy. <laughs> I'll I'll, uh, I'll bring another assortment. I, I'm actually surprised I only I'm only on one of the Stiegel. The Germans. It's working. Uh, Rich from RC Network. Yeah, true. Yeah, all cool dudes. Like I mean, if they if they would come on, if they're on, uh, on the right side of the world for me too. Like that's another thing. Like if they're uh, in LA at nine o'clock, it might be still work time for them. If they're on the East Coast. Might, they might not be home yet, or, or or they might be going to bed or eating dinner or whatever. Oh, yeah, I think Nezo would definitely do it. Yeah, yeah, I'll bring him on here. Why not, for sure? He's got some cool stuff to show. Um, all of those things would be great. Thanks, Norm. Appreciate you, buddy. Um, appreciate you, dudes. Thanks a lot for uh, hanging out with me, guys. Um, it was a cool stream. Hopefully... Um, it was better than last week's. We got 71 people watching. I think we had like 80 at the top of it, at the top there, 88 or something. That's super cool. Um, yeah, it's amazing that you guys want to hear what I have to say and, and come hang. And uh, I'm just I'm just a lowly dude with a studio full of toys. And uh, it's great that you guys want to come and hang. And, uh, and hopefully drink beers with me if you're old enough. Wicked. Uh, oh, yes. Okay, sure. Um, yeah, I'm going to I gotta invite a whole bunch of people to see what happens. Uh, I'm going to try like one at a time first. Maybe I can get two people uh, one at a time to come in next week or just one. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I don't want to overdo it because like the first live stream, I tried to build a model and like that didn't work out at all. So like it's probably it's probably good to baby step it, you know, just little baby steps or whatever. Um, but yeah, dark dragon. Yeah, totally. Totally. That dude's, uh, awesome as well. He has some really cool models. Um, uh, Canadian drift off. Yes. Well, I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of drift tracks in my part of Canada, um, which would be really cool. Uh, yeah. Wicked man. Thanks for coming and hanging out. Uh, and, uh, yeah. Thanks a lot, dudes. I think uh, I think I'm gonna kill the stream. I'm gonna kill it now. Uh, thanks a lot, dudes. Have a wicked night. Uh, if you're not subscribed, subscribe, eh? If you guys know people who would like my stuff, get them to subscribe. I'm getting super bummed. Lost like 40 subscribers in one day because I was talking about ball smashing and chode tingling sensations on my last video. Or I guess nobody likes monster trucks. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's the f explosions. Maybe it was the explosions that did it. That could have been it. I don't know. <laughs> if you don't know what I'm talking about, go watch my last video. Even the first, like, 50 seconds of it. And uh, and then you'll know what I'm talking about. Ah, oh, thanks, Lewis. Appreciate you, buddy. Uh, <laughs> thanks, man. Uh, yeah, I, I appreciate you. That That's going to go towards some other hemorrhaging build, I'm sure. Um... And uh, I appreciate that. Thanks a lot, man. Uh, or beer. One or the other. Oh, she said no with the mullet. Really? I don't know. But Michael Bay has a lot of fans. He Does he, though? Like, I feel like they're... Uh, I don't like Michael Bay. Too many moves to the camera. Like, what are you doing shooting the camera through all the stupid gantry cranes and stuff? Like man yes sunday 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 yeah oh i don't know i, I it's called super chat i'm not 100 percent sure how to do it um people know i don't i'm assuming there's got to be a way i think it's like a sticker or something uh, it's a totally different um like f f interface for you guys than it is for me so so yeah but haha do it for dale yeah man do it for dale do Fred. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, you're gonna have to ask uh, Lewis. I'm not not 100 percent sure. I mean, if you guys want to spend send me money, I'll stick around for another couple minutes. <laughs> That's okay. Hopefully, I kept the swearing down to a minimum, and it doesn't demonetize me like it did last week. Um, yeah, I don't know. Like, 
I think for the next few ones, I'm going to do like my own thing only because I'm getting kind of tired of just like doing like this, the, like what other people want, you know? Oh, thanks buddy. Uh, <laughs> appreciate you, dude. Thanks, man. Uh, yeah. Bulldog Wago. It's, oh, oh yes. XK90. What up, buddy? Appreciate all your comments, buddy. Uh, Thanks a lot for the kind words on all the videos. And uh, you might have just, you probably just got on the stream. But, uh, but I did I did flash it uh, a few times. I'll get to it. I'll promise. I promise I'll get to it. It's just, um, it's just, uh, I don't know. I got kind of got burnt out with it. And uh, when I got burnt out with it, I just kind of put it away. And, and uh, I just started to build a steering wheel that turns almost two times around from one servo and I think I think that's what did it man that's kind of what what killed me that's what killed me on that project no I'm sorry buddy um, but did you kick the ATV drivers ass or or did he like buy you another RC car cuz like what Oh, thanks, man. I appreciate you. I got to get my own merch stuff going because, like, when you buy my merch, like, I get, like, 10 bucks from it. Or not even. And uh, I got to get, like, I'm going to get that K-pop shop going. And I'm going to sell some um, 3D printed stuff. Probably the smaller stuff, like intercoolers um, and maybe valve covers. Because, like, the seats take a long time to print. And I don't think I can sell them at a price that people would like. Like I'm giving away these seats every build series and um, and it costs, you know, it costs me like, you know, ten, um, on average cost me $10 to send the seats. So I know that if somebody from like Florida buys two seats, then I have to charge them 10 bucks in shipping. So then I'm like, oh God, okay, well, how much are people willing to spend, you know, on, on seats? And then I'm like, well, if it takes four hours to print seats. Yes, thanks RC Garage. Uh, Yes, buddy. Show my best. <laughs> All right, man. All right, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it right now. I should be can't kill in the stream right now, but um, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Hold on. RC garage, garage. Let's see if I can find you quickly. All right, where's your missile build? I don't see it here. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna try hashtag scale as. sweet two stickers yeah man I've, I've already got them designed i'm gonna get scale science to help me out um what uh rc garage garage what uh hashtag did you use because uh, i don't see it here RC garage. it's not rc drift garage it's rc garage garage oh here no, it's that Lexus, that white Lexus. Is that the one you're talking about? Yeah, I hear you, man. It's just not worth it, right? It's just like not worth doing it. So stickers, I think, are going to be the ones. Um, maybe I'll get some hats um, with my little logo. With my um, oh god, my logo uh, might be cool. Eighty-six, buddy. I don't see it here. Do you think maybe it's because like it hasn't updated yet or something? Is it RC underscore garage underscore garage? Yeah, man, you should do it. Just do it. Like what's 200, like what's 200, like some people go out drinking one night and they spend that kind of money. Like what? Just, just do it. Hachiroku, yes. I think that's what you're talking about, but I can't find it. Hmm. Here, oh, I can do this, though. Is that you? All right, you can watch me type it. 
Hashtag Domino. Sorry, dudes. I'm like, everyone can leave. I'm. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> All right, scroll down. Where are you, bud? Ah. This is the guy, right? Is that what you're talking about? All right, man, you did it. I, yeah, I did it. That's it. This is the one. What's super cool about this is the swinging license plate, man. I have a dude uh, at, the, at the Strictly Sideways track who has a bumper that he's kind of got hanging and the, and the bumper kind of drags on the ground. And same kind of style, but man, I love the one headlight. Um, even with the Adam LZ project, I was trying to get the wink going so you could just like have them open and then like wink. Um, which is super cool and I love the like old school period correct rims too man is what a what a amazing build um, Yeah, I want to see if you have more here you go All oh, right. Yeah, wait kid. here. Let's full screen that Let me get that on here Boom. Yeah, man and the open trunk dude. Excellent. Excellent Tell your buddy to get an Osmo action. It has very very good stabilization and I think they still have the Cyber Monday deal, and it's a uh, hundred dollars off right now. Uh, if anybody wants to do on camera RC shots, get the Osmo Action. It is much much better than the GoPro Hero Eight, and it's half the price. So, just a heads up. Okay, Wicked. All right, guys, I'm gonna kill it. It's 11:06. I gotta I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here. So, Wicked guys, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot for all the super chat guys. Um, I appreciate you guys. Um, this is a losing enterprise for me. I don't make any money at all. Uh, lots of work, no reward, and you lose 40 subscribers in one day. That's that's how I roll, guys. That's how I roll. So um, keep ball smashing and uh, and have a sick sick night. Good night, guys. Uh, thanks for hanging out. Appreciate you guys. 54, you still here? You made it the uh, hour and a half or whatever it was, two hours. Huge. Cheers, guys. Have a good night. See you guys next Tuesday um, for uh, Tall Can Tuesdays. Cheers.